Hi everyone, I am Jahar from M-Score Automation Solutions. We are all well aware of the incredible advantages that no-code platforms offer. However, there are times when executing code in no-code platforms can be a game changer for enhancing efficiency and cost effectiveness in your automation workflows. Today, I am going to explain how to execute JavaScript code in make.com using zero-code util app. By running custom JavaScript code, you can tackle complex operations and advanced data manipulation all in one step. Yes, I mean all in one operation. Let's go in detail. To begin, let's start searching zero code util in app section. So I'm going to click this add option and type util. I can see zero code util. So there, if I scroll down, I can see execute JavaScript code module. So I'm selecting it and let me delete this first module. Yeah. So now once I select this, I need to add the connection. That's a primary job in connecting a module. So to add connection, I can click add. You can see an option to input API key. To get API key, you can visit the product page of Zero Code Util app. So here you can see uh, the introduction about Zero Code Util. So it's a versatile set of tools for common data conversion and manipulation tasks. So you can see a lot of features. It gives a lot of features like date planner, currency converter, multi records parser, a test function, file function, etc. And all with one credit. That's the amazing advantage of zero code util. If you scroll down, you can see the pricing as well. So it costs only $5 for 5,000 credits per month. So you can choose the plan which uh, suits for your need and get the API key. So once uh, the API key is received, you can go here and input the API key and click save. So I have already added the API key. Now let's come to the JavaScript code part. So I'll write a quick code so that you can understand how this module works. We are going to execute a simple JavaScript initially. Then we can see how we can execute a complex JavaScript as well so that you can have a tremendous operation change. Yeah. So let's see. So I'll write a simple JavaScript with function addition. So function add a comma b. Then curly braces. I'll cl close the curly braces and return a plus b. And I'll add the output add. one comma nine and close the bracket yeah so now let me run this you will see the result see we got it 10 so you know one plus nine is 10 so this is a very simple code now let us execute some complex javascript so that you can understand how we are going to save operation so we have a scenario ready so i'm just opening the scenario so here you can see a parse.json module. So in parse.json module, I have created a user's array data. So it contains some user example like Alice, Bob, Charlie with email, name, ID and age. So the main idea is in make whenever we connect any module and it outputs the data in the form of a parse.json. So that is like an array or collection. So to replicate it or mimic that output, I have used the parse JSON module so that you can see in the JSON section, the parse JSON module and just replicated it. So once uh, like when I run it, you can see the output in the form of a collection, users array and then collection of ID, name, email, age. To execute JavaScript code, we need a JSON data. We cannot parse any uh, array or collection in this format. So in order to tackle this issue, we can use the module transform to JSON. So in transform to JSON, we can pass the data and just uh, see how it comes when, when we run the scenario. So you can see it's a uh, clean JSON. You can see it's a clean JSON without parsing. Now we have a JavaScript ready here. So I'll just zoom in and showcase you. So here you can see a function created modify users. So what it does, whenever we pass this JSON data of all the users array, it will take each user and does 
two operations. One is it will add a hash tag to the user ID as a prefix and increments the age of the user by one. So this is a uh, this is one of the JavaScript code that I have quickly created to demonstrate you. So you can see function modify users and the JavaScript code is uh, written with written uh, written uh, object uh, returning the input object and you can see the modify users is called here. So now let me call this uh, code by executing the scenario. So you can see here an output where we can see users. So the age has become 26 for Alice. So if you go back, the age of Alice is, Alice was 25, now it has become 26 and the ID was 1 and now you can see the output ID is Ash 1. Similarly uh, for Bob as well, the age became, became 31, 36 for Charlie and Ash has been provided in the ID section. So you can see this. So here it was 30 for Bob, the age and Charlie it was 35, right? So you can just validate it again. Yeah. So all good here. Now let's go and see another function execution in JavaScript code. So I have another function where we execute multiple functions together. So here you can see what has been done. There is a JavaScript, uh, JavaScript code written where we have created a example function uh, where it takes two, three inputs, input one, input two and input three. There you can see another function. It's like a nested function. So in our you can see like modify user has been input and there is another function to add uh, two integers, right? A comma B. So where we are defining the output, see the output is defined as modify user as one of the key and add as the another key, right? And then we say return output and then we call the main function with all the input parameters. So to reiterate, we are going to pass three inputs and in the function we are uh, having two nested or uh, two functions uh, nested in it and then we are asking for a collection, collection of two keys modify users and add. So let's run it and see the output. So it has been run and in the output you can see uh, there are two keys add modify users. Modify user is another collection having users array with uh, the ash incremented uh, sorry ash prefixed in the id and the age is incremented by incremented by one. So that's the real cool magic of uh, executing JavaScript code in make.com. Imagine you are dealing with a complex array or collection where you need to input a lot of logics. At times, you can easily go to OpenAI's chat GPT and input your query and get a quick JavaScript code. So instead of wasting your time or having a lot of operations run between iterator, array aggregator or set variable module, you can execute JavaScript code to manipulate the data in advanced way in just one operation. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your feedback, comments and next video ideas in our comment section. Till then, we can see in our next video. Bye-bye.